Gotta just say, everybody, it's another new week, and for the month of March, what better way to celebrate Women's Month is by having topics that talk about women. For this week, we're gonna talk about habits on how to become girl bosses. So there are a lot of women in the workplace. To empower and women is to identify the habits that would make them the better versions of themselves. So I'm gonna share with you some habits that girl bosses have so that you could see if you have that habit. If not, you could apply that into your day-to-day -day activity. So the first habit that a woman leader should do is to read. Because when you read, you would eventually start to remember the lessons that has been captured in the book. And reading also enhances your imagination. It builds your creativity and reading leads to leading. The next habit of a woman leader is they dream. And when they dream, they dream big and boldly. It means that you're challenging yourself or you're putting yourself out there to reach that kind of level. So the ha second habit of a woman leader is that they dream. And when they dream, they visualize that. The third habit of a woman leader is that they inspire themselves. And what better way for them to be inspired, and I'm going to share my own personal experience in this, is I watch YouTube videos about motivation. And I think that's also one of the reasons why I started doing this vlog is because I want people who could listen to me relate on what I'm saying because it's what's happening around us. So be inspired by focusing on things that could motivate you. And the last habit of a woman leader is that they are grateful. Gratitude that's being done by leaders all around us. And what better way for us to be thankful for the blessings that we have is to be grateful for all the opportunities that's given to us, the work that is presented to us, the people who are very much supportive in our growth of gratitude would help us be better versions of ourselves. And understanding that we attract the positivity and the blessings that's happening around us gives us a, a mindset of abundance that could lead us to serve more people and be available to other people too. So those are some of the habits of a girl boss that we could practice for the month of March. Everybody, especially the women out there, as long as you're empowered and you help empower yourself, you'll reach the goal that you want to achieve. So thank you so much for listening and happy Women's Month for all of us women leaders, women friends. And thank you so much for watching and gratitude.